So one thing you might want to do in your R Markdown document or analysis is have visualizations and explanatory text right next to each other in two separate columns. Now there is a document format called the Tufty format that does something sort of like that. Uh, some people don't like some of the defaults. You could just mess around with the templates and try to do that on your own. But if you just want something quick and dirty, just done, and that just works, you have a couple options. Um, I have done this with just straight HTML and inline CSS to do like a parent div tag and then two child div tags so that I could have those two child div tags like floated next to each other and just have two columns that are like a simple table for, you know, before table and after table. Um, you could do stuff like that. Um, but there's also something with the, uh, because this goes through Pandoc, there's also this other option I just found out through the R Markdown cookbook, which is if you do three colons, that's basically a div tag. And you could do um, two sets of three colons, which is a parent div, and then each set of three afterwards, closing and opening, um, is a child div. So in this case, we have one parent with the class dot columns, and then three children. The middle child is just empty white space div and you can see that it has a width of five percent and the other one has 55 and this one has 40. this one just contains text this one actually has a plot so when we knit this it will actually produce a two column output now i have done this with uh, html and have done two 50 percent divs uh, a spacer might be a good idea and now we can have explanatory text right next to our plot because this is a parent div with three child divs, the spacer, and then the text. So this is something you can do for your analysis to have stuff side by side, or you could do the Tufty package. Uh, I can just do a simple one, do a template, Tufty, Tufty handout. I really like this style, actually. Um, there is a lot of complex stuff in it, that um, sometimes might just not be worth the overhead. But um, if you just want something quick and easy, you can just do the colon div stuff and nest a couple things. But I do actually rather like the Tufty package. Is it knitting? Yes. So this is what like a Tufty document would look like. You could have all of your stuff, then you could have even plots and other text on the outside. Any of your footnotes appear on the side. Um, yeah, and then like the stuff with the quotes. I really like the Tufty style, but sometimes it's just a lot of complexity that I don't really need to mess with for what I do, or it's just not a, an appropriate style. Some people don't like the fonts. Some people don't like the default background color that sometimes appears yellow. I think I might have something set, maybe. I don't know. But so those are some options for you for uh, multi-columnar output. You have Tufty. You have this div stuff. And you just play around with different CSS. Now, I did have to include for this um, a definition of CSS in a CSS code chunk. You could do an external file referenced in your YAML header of just CSS, or you could do it like this. Um, I mean, if you're going to do this like constantly and you want it to be more of like a reproducible example, you could just have a template CSS file that has this stuff in it and have that in a common location to reference by all the other packages. Or, you know, do the right thing and have a package per analysis and have a CSS file or this inline code in your package and then you're all set. Encapsulate everything in a package. Um, but I did have to define this custom CSS, and then um, this is using that custom CSS right here just to say, like, hey, sub divs, you know, we're doing flex, or the display is flex for a flex box. I believe that that's what it is. And then it just floats them next to each other. So, multi columnar output.